Hi, my name is Jane Powell. Welcome to Community Connections, brought to you by the Greater Canal Valley Foundation. This is a show showcasing community involvement. Today, we are going to learn about ele education elevators. Um, my guest is Natalie Blevins. Natalie, you are the after-school director, family support worker, and probably all around do whatever needs to be done person at Mary C. Snow Elementary. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a lot. But yes, I am a family support worker for Kanawha County Schools. Mm -hmm. I have two schools, Grandview Elementary School and Mary C. Snow. And then in addition to that, I am an after school director slash site coordinator. I'm in a partnership with Bob Burdett Center for their after school program. Mm -hmm. A busy lady. Yes. <laughs> So of all of your, your, your duties and responsibilities and things that you do during the day, we're, today we're going to talk about Education Elevators, a program near and dear to everyone's heart. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about it. Well, the program initially started as uh, a reading program in Piedmont Elementary School with um, Tom Majunkin, the late Tom Majunkin, mm -hmm. and then he noticed while he was in there doing read aloud that what the schools needed was support from the community and businesses in the community for a mentorship program, which is how Education Elevators initially came about. And the theme of m Education Elevators is helping kids take flight. So he um, really started off with partnership with uh, Piedmont Elementary School and there is still an education elevator partnership there and um, with businesses in the community and partners inside those businesses come inside the schools and mentor children one-on-one. -on -one. So uh, Tom McJunkin is really a force yes. in life but also to get the uh, partners involved in the program. Yes, yes. And then with his passing um, uh, about 10 years ago, his daughter Allison Majunkin has taken it over and it has really grown in the past 10 years. Um, we are in several schools in Kanawha County. I think it's up to nine elementary schools. Um, to middle schools and um, it is actually a program that is elementary only but once those partnerships happen and the connection occurs many elevators and students want the elevators to continue through middle school. So let's just talk a little bit about that because really that's the key isn't it? Building that relationship yes. and matching the right elevator with the right student. Yes. Um, how do you become an elevator? Well, if your business um, has like what we call a lunch and learn, like if someone inside your business is, hey, I really feel like we need to connect with the schools in our community, um, they can reach out to Allison McJunkin on the website mm -hmm. and then she will notify one of the education elevator coordinators, which is me and uh, two other ladies in Kanawha County. And then we will host what's called a lunch and learn, where mm -hmm. during their lunch hour, we will present um, to the staff there um, a short PowerPoint and go over, you know, what this means. And then if we gather interest from there, then we will have eventually have like background checks and a school orientation with matches of students to um, elevators from that business. And there's like MOUs that are signed through Kanawha County Schools. So it's well connected. People know that they're there. They're ne they know that they're supposed to be there. We connect them with the principals, the teachers, the parents, and the students. Yeah. So it's not. Um, just a, a like oh I want to be an elevator you commit to the program yes um, that's where like I come in and the other coordinators come in we'll give her a little spiel about how important it is to mm -hmm. be there commit like once a week for a half an hour um, at least 30 minutes if and then to build that relationship we have like 
icebreakers to help, you know. Um, we have suggestions to get the kids to come out of their shell. We help them with de-escalation if you get a student who might be a little emotional. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and we have like end of the year forms and, you know, like help the elevators have that last meeting with their students before summer break or if you ha if the student is moving or if the elevator is moving can no longer continue the program we have um, steps that can help with that too so one half an hour to an hour of once a week yes is what you're asking people to commit yes. to. Yes. Yes. And then do they meet at a school? Is it an after school meetup or um, that actually depends on the school and the students, but the majority of the elevators meet at the school during school hours, mm -hmm. which for elementary school in Kanawha County, mm -hmm. it starts at 7:30 a.m. and you're out at 2 p.m. and then depending on principals or the school there are some principals who only want the elevators to meet during lunchtime um, because of the academic enrichment that's occurring the other times. Right. Um, there are principals who are okay with elevators coming at different times as long as it's not during um, a core time like such as English or math or support for mm -hmm. the student and then and then that's where we also help <laughs> kind of navigate, navigate right. that and and map it out so that the, there's places inside the schools for the elevators to meet with their students there's games and stuff for them to engage in there's you know materials for them to use and um, that it will be a welcoming experience that they're just not in a hallway <laughs> somewhere right. yeah yeah um so they don't meet during the summer? They only meet during the school year? That has remained a challenge for the education elevators because the majority of them do meet on school property mm -hmm. during school hours under the MOU with Kanawha County Schools and the school and the business. So um, we haven't had a transition to summer of a place because then that would mean that the parents would have to get their child to the place of meeting and other people would have to be involved and be around there at that yeah. time. That's a little mm -hmm. tricky. Yes. A lot of schedules. Yes. Coordinate a lot yes. of logistics there. Uh, I understand. Mm -hmm. Who are elevators? I know um, that you have attorneys that are elevators, mm -hmm. yes. you have um, just uh, lawyers. We have attorneys. We have lawyers. We have we have paralegals. You have bankers. Into, yes, we have all kinds of bankers. We have architects. We have anyone who has it works for a business um, and is interested and meets the requirement to become an elevator can be an elevator. Did and I hear stories about some uh, sports figures being elevators? Some of the sports teams? Um, I, like, uh, who are you referring to? Um, um, well, and it, it may have been in the past, okay. but I heard one of the local baseball players was an elevator. I heard um, some of the college football players were elevators. And I just thought that was a wonderful interaction. Yeah, that yeah. would be a nice, like, um, because I personally don't know, because where I'm so busy with the two schools that I oversee, um, I, I don't know all of the elevators. But yes, the elevator program has had um, students who have been mentored by elevators mm -hmm. to come back and want to be elevators. Oh, that's great. They, they've also had elevators stick with the same student all the way through. I actually, the first year I became involved with education elevators, there was a third grader. The only reason why I took this one, I was like, and I talked to one person and I said, 
if you will meet with him, there's one thing I want you to do. And he said, what is that? And I said, stick with him until he graduates high school because if you do, he will be the first one in his family to ever graduate high school and he's going to need the support. And they are still together. He starts high school next year and they uh, the family um, had a tragedy with the house burning down and they had to move out of our school district the elevator moved with them the elevator was a catalyst in helping the family meet their basic needs during that time of crisis and then a the elevator and him still like the elevator goes and sees his middle school band stuff and I, I mean and I still hear from both of them. Hats Thank off. That's yes. just what yes. a great match. Yeah. So we've seen how this student flourished yes. being paired with the right elevator and I can only guess that the elevator is just their lives are enhanced by the relationship but what do you see from the children? Well, from the children, I see a willingness to come to school, an excitement when they get to school. They always ch check in with me, and depending on ages and stages of the children, like I have a little girl now in first grade this year who was matched for the first time this year. She always asked me if her best friend is coming. Is my best friend coming today? <laughs> is my best friend coming today? And then I have another student this year, um, who is matched and she always says like is it Thursday or Friday that she's coming because her and her elevator are very consistent mm -hmm. um, and then I always say look it's Thursday and if there's something that interrupts that you'll be the first to know and <laughs> um, so I see that enhancement. Kids are smiling. They have more mm -hmm. confidence. They um, want to do well. And they're to, coming to school. Yes, they're coming to school on time. They're staying the whole time. And then, um, yeah, so that is just some, they have fewer incidents during the school days that are negative because they have this positive relationship that they're looking forward to. That's so great. Yeah. Just, it's, there's nothing bad about it, no, right? No, no. It's mean, good for everyone. It's good for the school. Yes. It's good for the community. Yes. That's wonderful. So, again, to contact Education Elevators, um, probably visiting the website is the best thing yes. to do. Yes, yes. And that is educationelevators.org. Yes. And there you'll find information um, about the program, ways to get in touch with people, uh, how to schedule a lunch and learn for your business yes. or to attend one somewhere else, right? Yes. Um, and from there, then uh, they'll meet a child and, and, there's also and start changing lives. very positive outcomes for elevators, for people who decide to pour into children. This is what I've seen. It has consistently become the thing that they look forward to to the week that the elevators become as committed to that time as the students become as committed to that time and that the elevators look forward to it. They and it enlightens them to have a kid run up there you are right. and want to love that right, right. <laughs> and then the uh, as they build relationship with their students they want to know more about the family and I ways that they can help thank yes. you so much thank mm. you so much for teaching us about this <laughs> and and sharing the excitement that the program brings to everyone and thank you guys for joining us. This has been Community Connections brought to you by the Greater Canal Valley Foundation. We'll see you next time.